What's up YouTube, I'm Vaughn and this is the gear channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, compare games from tabletop to video games and today we have a Yu-Gi-Oh match but quite different instead of doing our usual standard format we are actually doing GOAT because it's been a while since we actually played GOAT format so in today's video we have our favorite Fiend Control deck versus Exodia. Now this is definitely a very interesting uh, match and you're definitely going to see why. But before we begin, if I remind you to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel a lot and I do really appreciate it. But also if this video receives 10 likes, like always, we'll definitely do a deck profile of our specific decks. So definitely hit that like button. So we're going to see exactly who's going to be going first in this video. So let's see over here. It's us. Nice. So we have our Dark Necrophere, our main girl. We have Magician of Fate, Sanjan, Mystic Tomato, and Brain Control. Our opponent has Upstart Goblin, Backup Soldier, which is very good to get all your Exodia pieces from your grave back to your hand. They have the Right Arm, they have Dark Mimic level 3, and then they have the Reaper over here, which is very, very good. Okay, so we're going to draw a card, and we drew into Delinquent Duo. So you guys pretty much see exactly where this uh, game is going to go with uh, Faith and Delinquent Duel. So, so we're actually just going to play Delinquent Duel because we did not know our opponent had Exodia. So I didn't want to put all the cards like, on the table and especially if my opponent is going to go Noble Mayor Cross out. So we're going to do Delinquent Duel, Duel first. See where our opponent has. We see that and that. So it didn't show too much. So then we just summon Mystic Tomato and then we pass. So we're waiting just for a little bit more info before we start doing more plays. Then our opponent sets a card and then it's our turn. We draw. We're going to attack and see where our opponent's going to add. Exordia. Now we know that he's playing Exordia. So we could go and set the Magician of Faith. Since we're not really too worried of them having no bum and cross out because specifically for exodia you want to play with the cards that's pretty much just to help your deck so you're not really playing with so much stuff for prevention of your opponent's cards so we're going to pass from there okay our opponent's going to set we're going to go flip our magician of faith get our delinquent duo again and we're going to activate delinquent duo all right we're going to a few times just so it's completely random usually we always go from one on the left and to the right okay so that kind of speed up a few things i don't know why but anyways uh, we discard one piece they discard the other piece okay now we're going to the battle phase so we're going to just go and attack i don't know why it's uh lagging a little bit sorry guys so they're going to go activate defect and they're going to add. So we set the Book of Moon, we're going to attack with the rest, and then we're going to just pass after that. Okay, so they draw into an Exodia piece. So this is very interesting. So they go summon, attack, Magician of Faith. It's okay, we're going to Book of Moon. So then it's going to flip it and we're going to get the Delinquent Duel or opponent just crits. So we're going to go into game two. Because there's no way he was coming back if we really activate the Delinquent Duo again. So this time we have Breaker, Card Destruction, Black Lesson Soldier, Magician of Faith again, Nudoria. They have Dark Mimic, they have Jar Greed, they have the Kochi, they have the Reaper, and then another Dark Mimic. Okay, so this actually seems like it's going to be a very different game. So they draw into the left leg, very nice. Set Jar, set the Kochi, and then pass. So we're going to go draw. They're going jar, which I think is kind of bad. They should have waited for me to either do like embassy or does and then uh, or even breaker. I could have actually wasted my breaker on that and then they could have just chained it. So or I just let that buy. It doesn't really matter. They draw into another Exodia piece. Wow. So we're going to go summon a breaker, get the counter, we're going to attack, and the coach is going out. And look at that. Wow. Okay, so we're going to set Book of Moon and they pass to our opponent. They get Ring of Destruction. Very, very good. Okay, so it's going to be our turn. We're going to go and use the effect. And he's going to chain. So we are actually going to lose 19 since we didn't even resolve the effect to remove. Because it's not even a cost to remove. You can remove one uh, spell counter from this card and then target. 
Okay. Yeah, no, it is a cost. My bad. Yeah, so we have actually been 16. Yeah, I didn't read it properly. Yeah, so we were actually only lost 16, not 19, but it really doesn't matter. So we're going to set, okay, our faith, and then wait for our opponent. We're going to actually book a moon his monster. So then we could actually have a target for Magician of Faith. So we're going to flip our Magician of Faith. Get the effect, get Book of Moon. Then Tribute Magician of Faith for Jinsoul. Now the reason why I did this was actually because I was scared that this was actually more backup than anything else. Because I didn't want our opponent to start accumulating if we were getting rid of more cards. So after doing that, we're going to banish those two for Blacklist of Soldier. Use Blacklist of Soldier to banish. So we're going to attack with Jinzo. They're going to go and add the piece. This is definitely a very close call. But since they added the piece and we know that ideally they do have some extra pieces, we're now going to go into card destruction. Because their backup thing won't activate because of Jinzo. <laughs> And that's it. Her opponent left. So this was actually a very funny uh, match. So I thought it was like hilarious uh, going against uh, Exodia with like delinquent duo, and then like after her opponents like adding in Exodia, and then we go card destruction. So yeah, I'll definitely post like some real matches of like actually like meta deck for gold. But I, just, I thought this was like a very uh, funny match for an intro towards like a new uh content that we're starting up again because it has been a while since i uploaded any go format so looking forward and doing like more matches and i have a lot more different decks for goats as well but that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video you know what to do like and subscribe and if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to view here on the channel you can always follow me on my instagram vaughn gear i'm vaughn and this was the gear channel